What's up, guys? It is me, Siva. I'm just going to get straight to the point. I'm going to be telling you how to host a bot 24-7 free. Don't worry, it's really easy. Trust me, it's so easy. All right, so what we're going to do is have your bot script here. As you see, I've got it all written. I'm just using a just a ping command, for an example. And uh, we're going to go over to Google. You're going to sign up to uh, Ripplet. And then once you've done that, you should go to, like, I don't know, the dashboard of your profile. And you should see a create. There should be a create somewhere. You're just going to click create. And then you're just going to click Python. And then you're just going to call it, I'll just call it example. Uh, no, I'll just call it bot, same simple. You can call it whatever you want. And you're just going to click create. Now it's going to create it, and it's going to take you over here. Just let, let, it do its, let it do its thing. All right, now you're just going to copy the code from here, uh, like this. And you're just going to paste it in. There we go. All right, now it's, you're going to have a squiggly line under like next code or whatever what over what you're using so all you have to do is go over here where it says shell and you're just going to do pip free or pip install and you're just going to install um all the imports you've got if they uh, have the squiggly iron under so if you know how to do that you should just do this so you're just going to install it it's going to install its thing and then um that should uh be it okay once it's installed everything it should be gone if it hasn't just refresh the page like that and it should uh the squiggly whiny or if it ain't gone then i will all right now once that is done we're going to create a new um it, it will just have a squiggly line then so uh, we're just going to add a file and we're going to call it uh what we're going to call it i forgot call it web server how do you spell server uh server.py and you're just going to create that and then you're just going to copy this code here i will leave it into the description so you can just copy and paste it so i'm um, just paste that right there boom that's it that's done and now you never have to look at that in your entire life now go back to this. What you're gonna do is uh, from here, just gonna write from uh, web server, you know the file you created, and then you're just gonna do from web server import. Uh, we're gonna import keep underscore alive, just like that. Done, sorted. And then above your token, if you do have a um, .env, you can create a file .env here, but it won't let you. And I can't remember how to do it, but if I find out a solution on how to do it, so I'll give you an example real quick. So if you do .env, it gives you an every concrete environment. I think there's a video I saw how to like actually do that. I will link it down in the description if um, I find it. So anyways, uh, you're just gonna right here under under above the the client dot run is keep underscore alive, and you're just gonna do that. And now that should literally be it. So now if we run this. It should um this ain't done yet by the way guys uh but once you have done it should uh, load up the bot if i'm right but you just got to let it do its thing so we'll just wait till this is done all right once it's done it's going to come up like this and if you go over to where your bot is on your server it should be here as you see balls and uh yeah so now if we do um ping it we should come up with the, the pong but this ain't it if this is just keeping it alive on the reptile now we're going to keep it alive so we can close windows like the google and everything turn off your pc and whatsoever so how you do that is actually really simple go over to this website called uptime bot i will link it down in the description uh just make an account or sign if you already got, uh, got one now once you do you should be presented with this page here if you're not go to a dashboard there should be dashboard like here go dashboard and then once you have done that we're going to add a new monitor so let's click add new monitor and now um, it says monitor type. We're going to click HTTPS. And it's going to say friendly name. So we'll just call it test for now. And then it's going to say URL or IP. So we're just going to go over back over to the replit. See the URL for this up here. You're going to copy that. And then you're going to paste it down here. Oh, we're going to have to delete that. There we go. Copy it here there. It will say monitoring interval. Leave it at five minutes. Monitor timeout. I left it at one minute because sometimes it can have a problem if you leave it at 30 seconds sometimes that's just rarely but just to be safe then under optional you can just leave that and all that keep everything like this and then you're just gonna from the type here alert contact you can click this if you want i think uh but i mean i do anyway it doesn't matter just alert contact notify but um now you're just gonna create a monitor now once you have created it you're just gonna click close once it has says uh, monitor created just click close and now it's gonna come up over here it, it may take like five minutes just for it to actually run up. So, so yeah, my, the rock hard one here. If you want to add this bot, by the way, guys, I'll link down in the description. Every time you say rock, it will uh, send you a DM of a rock gift. And it's really, <laughs> it's really stupid. But um, 
Yeah, so as you, if we look at this one for an example, as you see, it's just 100%, 100 everything's like looking sexy, you know? All right, this should be up soon. I'll be back once this is up. Oh, it's up. Let's just refresh. Okay, there we go. I've refreshed and it is now up. All right, that is very nice. So now if we, if we, for example, by the way, guys, if you do have more files, just make sure you import them all here. I think you can import. Yeah, you can upload files here. So make sure you do that and make sure you install the import. So now if we just close this and we close this, look, now we've got everything closed. We can actually just go into here, type ping, and it still works. See? So that is how you host a bot 24 7. So, guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.